We are used to talking about fashions and innovations in this field, meaning first of all, new models of clothing, but shoes too should not be written off. Scientific and technical organizations are working on innovations in this industry, which in terms of the complexity of their research are not inferior to Elon Musk's engineers. And yes, there is a lot of money at stake. Note that in 2020, the total revenue of the global sneaker market was estimated at about $70 billion. And by 2025, it was predicted that it would reach $102 billion. And just before the COVID-19 outbreak, the shoe industry set a new production record. 24.3 billion pairs of shoes were produced worldwide in 2019. Learn more about some of the futuristic innovations in the shoe market in our video. We know that to buy shoes, you need to choose the right model, determine your size, and then go to the store to order online. At the same time, a model ordered remotely may simply not fit you, and there will be no time to visit the store and try it on. In this case, the German architect and designer Stefan Heinrich developed so-called cryptide sneakers made of thermoplastic elastomer, for which only a 3D printer is needed to produce it. The design of the cryptide shoe is an outsole of an open design that is connected and printed with the upper part of the shoe, with a weight that can be compared to that of a pair of ordinary socks. To print such a pair of shoes, 3D scanning of the feet of each person is carried out individually. The design of the Shoes from the Crypt by Henrik is specifically developed for 3D printing on Sintratec S2 system using just one material, Sintratec TPE rubber-like elastomer. The main idea of the developer was to use the property of the material to change the stiffness when the thickness of the printed sides or quarters of the shoe changes. Thus, one part of the cryptide becomes more rigid, while the other part remains flexible and elastic. This makes the shoes ergonomic. The developer was inspired to create sneakers by Yeti, Bigfoot, as well as Nessie. These shoes leave a very curious footprint on the wet or muddy ground. So if you want to scare your neighbors or family, then step into a puddle and walk around in these boots. While the developers of Cryptide were working on creating cyberpunk sneakers, Puma designers were seriously thinking about how to improve the quality of running shoes. A few years ago, the running shoe market was overwhelmed by the trend of minimalist footwear. Almost every brand has produced shoes with a minimum level of cushioning. All this was done in order to bring a person closer to the most natural way of running, to return them to those days when people ran without shoes and unnecessary additional shock absorption. The idea is good, but as practice has shown, this variant is not suitable for many unprepared athletes. To help people run naturally, Puma recreated the anatomy of the human foot in their new running shoes and created something like an energy return system. During running, our foot changes by 4-6% to in breadth and length. Usually, this problem is solved by buying sneakers one size larger than usual. Puma, on the other hand, suggests choosing your size clearly and leaving the issue of adapting sneakers to your foot to new technologies. The company abandoned the traditional gluing technology and connected all the layers of the sole with high temperature soldering. These added not only wear resistance but also cushioning to shoes. Moreover, in the outsole, three types of rubber are used. The softest is located closest to the foot and provides the main cushioning in the heel and the forefoot. In the middle of the shoe is black rubber which together with the tourniquet is responsible for the flexion of the sole. The hardest and most wear resistant part is on the outsole. The curved base in the center of the sole provides anatomical foot arch support and facilitates compression, as well as stretching of the flexor muscles. A dense and flexive adaptive fit material is used in the upper part of the shoe and van, which also changes its shape while running or doing other activities. As you can notice, Puma while producing their sneakers did everything to recreate the most natural movement of the foot. And we cannot fail to mention that the Apple company got its start in the footwear industry by getting an unusual patent. Now, Apple owns the right to produce shoes that monitor their condition on their own. To do this, various sensors are built into it. The processor will force the shoes to think and they will display all the information on a special display. With the help of such electronics, shoes without outside help will be able to assess the state of the material from which they are made, as well as the sole which as a rule has the property of being worn down. 
After all, as the shoes are worn, their characteristics also change. Shoes become less comfortable and protection less effective. When wear reaches critical levels, shoes may begin to harm their owner. Overall, as you can see, even such an ordinary thing as sneakers in our time is turning into a high-tech device that not only protects our feet from cold and dirt, but also performs many other useful functions. So, what sneakers do you wear? Are you ready to exchange them for one of the pairs we just discussed?